What's going on my Brood War brothers? Welcome back to another replay cast from the ladder. This time it's Bisu versus Flash. And before you ask, no, it is not Flash who's just come back in 2024. This is a 2020 replay, but you know what? It's never a bad time for a Flash replay. This was sent to me by Dude Nerd. It's one of those older replays that might have gotten looked over. I asked him for a pack of games that uh, haven't been cast on any other channels. Something that might have been looked over that he might be holding on to, and he sent me quite a few games, including a couple from Flash. When he run in, ran into Bisu on the ladder. That's pretty epic, man. I think that uh, Flash, if he were to come back in today's day and age, I think that Bisu might just wreck him. I know that might be a controversial opinion, but Bisu has leveled up so much in the past four years. And really just even in the past year or so, the man is looking insanely good in 2024. So, you know, Flash, who hasn't been super active recently, at least not on any accounts that we are aware of, um, I think he might just get smoked by Bisu, but in this game right here in 2020, Flash was still incredibly strong, incredibly good. This is before going to the army, before the crypto scandal. By the way, if you want to know why Flash is not uh, playing in today's, in, in the Star Leagues today, uh, if you, if you want to know why he's not back yet, even though he's back from the military, I made an entire video covering this subject in depth. It's about his crypto scandal, and I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out if you haven't seen that already. It explains, uh, with some help from Jinjin, Jin, I went through the entire scandal and um, you know got the translated version, found out exactly what happened, put it all together for you guys, so you can, guys, you, you can check that out. And this is the patented flash that we remember, that we know and love here over in the top left, starting out with the gas as fast expand. I distinctly remember Flash doing this almost every game versus Protoss. And maybe, you know, maybe this will make a comeback in the future just because the Nexus first is so popular right now. We're not seeing it in this game. We're not seeing it here. Because this is Bisu from 2020, but I, I believe that most Protoss players these days are favoring that Nexus first really, really heavily, and it's very hard to punish them. So, I don't know if this can come back around. I haven't seen this a lot lately, but the Gas's Fast Expand does seem to be a pretty reasonable counter to the Nexus first. It's not like you're going to be able to put a huge amount of pressure onto the Terran because you will have, you know, one gateway after your Nexus or two gateways after your Nexus. Um, I think that you come out pretty well uh, in, a, in a pretty good position, but maybe, I don't know, Nexus first. If they go gas as fast expand, maybe you can just um, expand immediately afterwards and still come out ahead. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Uh, not a big expert on tvp it's not my matchup but uh you know the nuance there is uh, quite complex at the highest level i i think that most players haven't quite figured out what to do against the nexus first especially the nexus first cross spawn it's pretty understood that there's just no true counter to that and Maybe we need a Flash to come back into the scene. We need Flash to come back and show us what it is. Like, what is the true counter to Nexus first? How can we actually just beat it? Um, Nexus first cross spawn. Is it a bust? Is it just a play like this? Like, what is it exactly that we can pull out to just be ahead as a Terran? Um, because if anyone can figure it out, I think that Flash is that guy. He's always been that guy in the Terran scene. He's taking a lot of damage here on his bunker at the front, but, you know, constant repair here. As long as he's got the same number of SCVs as there are Dragoons, you can repair that 
infinitely. And I had a comment recently, I guess some people might not know this, that uh, you can repair uh, faster on a building than on a unit. I'm gonna try and jump forward here. So let's say for instance, four dragons jump on top of this siege tank. You need like eight, six, six, maybe eight SCVs to be repairing that to actually survive against the four dragons shooting it at the same time. He's actually coming out in the front. Oh my God, he's gonna lose that. Big mistake here from Flash, losing his first tank without Bisu really even diving there. That was pretty nasty. You know, um, you wouldn't expect that from Flash. I think there was an SCV that was underneath this barracks. And with the SCV under the barracks, the when he tried to click the tank back, the SCV was blocking, so the tank found a new path, and the path was this way. And Flash really got messed up by that. And Flash, I mean, he is in a bad spot now. He's gonna try and push out, but imagine, you know, one more tank here. Makes this push a lot scarier. Looks like he still will get a Dragoon. Not bad, not bad. Uh, push, forcing uh, Bisu back, and a Reaver is on the way, so this push can't have any longevity. There's no way that you push all the way into the natural here because this Reaver, when it's out, and it is out now, will shut everything down. But maybe Flash can get a few good mines right up in front, you know, make sure that there's no base coming up here. You will get over to the third, potentially pick off this uh, probe. But now his army's kind of stuck. I'm not sure I really like this. I don't know where the the shuttle is going. Why is it going across the map right now? That seems crazy to me. I feel like bringing the dragoons around. Oh, I guess he can't go through the dragoons. Or he can't go through the mines because the dragons don't have that observer yet. Going across the map. All right. Makes sense to me now. I thought he was going to be able to like surround and kill that army. But uh, seems like he's going to have to fly here into the main instead. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Oh, come on. Drop the reaver and start killing the turrets. That's a little bit crazy. Another probe gonna get shut down here in the center right, and he'll be denied a base for a little bit longer. He didn't get in there to deal any damage with the Reaver either. Jeez, Bisu not finding anything right now, and being slowed down at every corner. He should be in a good position because he killed that early tank, but he's actually being shut down relatively hard here. here comes that probe gonna throw down the nexus now still a little bit off the timing where you'd like to throw it down a little bit late there it's okay just just a bit of a hiccup here a bump in the road but uh, flash has had his own bumps here so far let's see if bisu can get any damage here add a few more bumps to that road if uh give flash a bit of a run for his money here I don't want to see Flash just run over this man. I want to see Bisu put up a good fight here. Picking off the mines out on the map. It's a classic match, honestly. A very classic match. Bisu versus Flash. This is a match that's been going on uh, and repeating itself for years and years and years. Looks like he's going to pick off one Goliath and back away. Nicely done. Keeping the shuttle alive, although taking quite a bit of hit point damage there. Looks like he's going to get a great shot. Great, great shot on those vultures. Flash not reacting quickly enough. And as you can see, he's still playing at a very high APM here. Flash, maybe not at the top of his game, though. Remember in 2020, he was hurting quite badly with his wrist. Uh, this was right before he went away to the army. His wrist was very, very sore. So he's actually looking forward to I remember he was looking forward to taking some time off to kind of recover his wrist while in the army. Um, yeah, it was a, a difficult time, I think. Still, of course, just blazingly fast, but I guess he can't help it when he starts to feel the pressure. Can't help but, uh, you know, play at your absolute peak when you're someone like Flash. Just, just phoning it in, even in a ladder game, is not an option here. And you can see Bisu definitely hitting it hard here. 350 APM, knowing that it's Flash he's playing against. And Flash doesn't actually know that he's playing against Bisu. I think that he asked at the beginning of the match, uh, who is this? And he just uh, like hit him with the question mark or something like that. 
So Bisu not willing to give out any information about his identity. So he's just going to sit here on his barcode, play his heart out, and see if he can beat Flash without Flash knowing who he's up against. And Flash is not going to pull any punches here. He's not going to uh, phone it in at all. He's not going to give up anything here. He's going to play his heart out regardless. Getting into a pretty good tank count. He's already overcome the most difficult part of this map, which is uh, here on Fighting Spirit. Taking this base right here. Very, very difficult to do when there's Reavers and Shuttle... Uh, Reavers, Shuttle, and Dragoons on the map. Um, a very annoying base to take here on Fighting Spirit. But he's managed to get it done. And... Ooh, eating some mine shots. Now that that's done, he should be able to execute a pretty good three base timing push. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine factory timing pushes coming up here soon. He's going to hit, I think, plus two, plus one timing push with nine factories. It's going to be very, very scary with 70 SCVs already done. He's managed to whip up a huge economy here to work with. He's going to hit this very, very hard. Okay, getting a probe transfer here. Really, really nice stuff for Flash. He's going to try to come into the natural. He doesn't see any Templar. And what do we have here from Bisu? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gateways. Only eight gateways versus the nine factories. I hope we're going to see more gateways coming down here shortly. Arbiter is on the way. So Arbiter will be coming off of four bases. Will it be good enough to stop the push of Flash, though? Really nice connections on these two Reavers to start things off. Picking off a few Vultures that have been sent out on the map to deal that initial damage to try and slow down the economy of Bisu before this timing push happens. I think that there's a little bit too many SCVs in the main and natural here for Flash. You might... Uh, do well to transfer a few workers over here to the third because this is going to mine out a lot slower than for example the main if we transfer about half of these workers over to this base we're going to have more longevity here on our th three bases but as it stands we're going to be on two bases here before uh too long the Big unsiege here and moving forward. 185 supply. Looks like this is the moment. We're just about to finish plus two, plus one. And the army is moving around the right-hand side. So Flash senses a moment here where he can start to move forward. Big army going to siege up here on the left-hand side. Drops coming through. He's going to drop Zealots on top of this. But the shuttle gets picked off pretty darn quick, picking up and dropping out the Reavers over and over again, trying to get as much value out of them as possible. But the army is starting to melt. Dragoons need to back away here. Now that the Vultures are gone, you can see they're littering the field. Blue blood all over the place and the tank count still very, very high. We've got a full 12 tanks remaining after that first fight. And Flash is actually ahead on supply here, about 20 up over Bisu, and has so many factories to work with. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 gateways to 9 factories. So he has the gateway count with the, the Arbiters being added on as well. He should be able to fight, but he just doesn't have, I guess, not enough probes, maybe? Transfer some of these probes, potentially. There's like... I guess barely enough. 62 probes is pretty good, but maybe 70 would be a little better. I, I'm just kind of nitpicking here, guys, but the 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 line is so thin right now. And you can just see he's being kind of out macroed by Flash. Flash is getting ahead in supply and remaining ahead in supply, which is not something that's supposed to happen. He's going to siege up here. And take out this base, but maybe Bisu can do some sort of counterattack while taking a base down in the bottom left. Transfer the workers down there and just delay that army on the right hand side. Here we go. Gonna drop Reavers here at the front. He's diving in. A recall here with an Arbiter as well. It's got enough energy now for Estasis. Big uh, mines hitting off here, destroying a lot of those Templar and Zealots. 
Don't, it's not every day that you see a recall on top of the army, but there you have it. He's gonna jump right on top of this natural here, killing off a bunch of stuff. Ooh, the reaver shots could be huge here. Picking off a lot of workers right now. Can he get some more great shots? I want to see how many kills this Reaver has, but I don't think we're going to get a chance to see that. He's going to turn around, use the Reaver to maybe push back this attack. No, he's going to fly to the north. Try to get some more damage over there at the third while this army is being cleaned up. Can he get big shots here with the Reaver? Looks like no. The SCVs are going to be pulled away and the Reaver will have to be juggled back. we we'll take another couple of shots here on the tanks the last of the dragoons will fall and i think the reaver oh stay, stay still alive here for now i don't think this has anywhere to go but he killed the cc no the cc floated away the cc floated away and we lost 20 scvs 20 scvs went down and we're back to even on overall army supply here looks like that just went down I'm not sure what exactly happened. Maybe he tried to fly out over here. No kill counts on the turret, so we can't know for sure, but Flash picks off that shuttle. Bisu, not able to get any more damage with that. This is an interesting game, guys. We're back on four bases here. Kind of a reset. Uh, but the, the bases are really starting to, to run thin here for Flash. He's going to have to transfer a lot more SCVs now over to this mineral field here at the main. And this one is about to run out. Same kind of goes for the natural main of Bisu. He kind of needs to take another base as well. Maybe down here, over here, maybe on that high ground. Gonna take a fight here before uh, anything else can happen. Couple D-Matrix, four D-Matrix? Is that, am I seeing that right? Three D-Matrix thrown down here? That's a long line of tanks behind this. And a lot of this army gets evaporated, but the supply is relatively even, okay. A little bit ahead here for Flash. That's a lot of tanks. This might be it, guys. Flash going to push down towards this bottom left. And if he kills this, I think he might just take this game. Some storms coming down on some clump tanks. But just the unseed tanks alone can no longer be denied. That's so many tanks. Oh my god. That is a huge, huge army, actually. With just 51 pro, oh, 51 uh, SCVs now. That's a lot of tanks left over. And GG is called Bisu Taps out here of game number one. We've still got more games to go, guys. Really nice to see Flash play once again. The beauty of his macro game is, is something to behold, guys. I really wish we could have him back in the scene. And if you will watch my video about the Flash controversy, you'll understand that uh, it's pretty silly that he's actually not back. So let's jump into game number two. Check out another Flash versus Bisu. All right, game number two here. Bisu in the top center, Flash in the bottom left. And another classic map has uh, been in the map pool for a long time, but thankfully no longer with us. It's Neo Sylphid. I mean, it's not a bad map, honestly. Not a terrible map. It's just, it got a little tiresome to play on this map over and over again. For me, particularly, I just, uh, I don't know. Fighting Spirit, uh, Neo Sylphid, and Eclipse are just kind of tired maps in my mind. I hope that we find more maps like those, but not those exact maps um, anymore. I, I would say Retro is like a good example of a map that's kind of like Fighting Spirit. I'm not a big fan of that one either. So I guess I would say not like Fighting Spirit, not like Retro um, would be my preference, but there's definitely worse. There's definitely worse maps out there, isn't there, guys? There's definitely Troy and some other wild ass maps that uh, I can, that, that comes to mind. Um, gateway in the front here this time for B2. He's gonna try and put on some pressure and this time Flash didn't go for a gasless fast expand. So I think he realized that probably B2 is trying to, gonna try and counter it. So he decides, you know what? Easy, I'll just go ahead and make a normal build here this game. 
I'll, I'll, I'll put two on gas. Interesting, interesting. Two on gas here. Takes off another one. Now just one on gas. He's going to start an early bunker here. Okay. Pylon in the mineral line. That's going to keep the marine busy for quite some time. Um, chasing the probe and then also picking off the pylon. Okay, he's actually going to send it to the front. This is good game sense by... Flash. I guess he saw that the there was going to be this uh, Zealot, and now he's going to try and body block. Ah, missed body block there. And the Zealot will make its way into the main base. Um, is, this, is this one of those holes as well? Oh my god, I had no idea. I had no idea that this was a gap. Guys, don't lie to me in the comments. Let me know if you actually knew that this is a gap that... Marines can walk through and Zealots cannot. I had no clue that this was one of them. Um, leave it to Flash to just know everything about the game, man. And keep surprising us, even though this is him from back in 2020. Um, we we're going to get rid of this Zealot. Another Zealot does come in. Great micro by Flash. He's going to pull back all of his Marines, except for one. He does lose one. I mean, nobody's perfect, right? Not even Flash himself can avoid losing one marine to a zealot rush like this might even lose two hey who knows crazier things have happened no he doesn't lose two <laughs> three four marines on eight hp each hilarious very nicely done <clears throat> the red boys all of them heading into that bunker they're gonna chill for the rest of the game i guess really no point in pulling them out of there unless i i I really can't think of a situation where they're going to be useful. You're definitely not going to push. So one thing that you can know for sure here, I think, as uh, as Flash is, you're definitely, uh, or as Bisu is, Flash is definitely not going to push. I'm going to come in and check the command center. Does get a uh, sight line on that. He sees the command center. He's going for like super fast DT here. He's going to try and get the invisible men into Flash's base. That seems like a tall order, but maybe Flash is not going to be expecting this and he might get away with it. Flash is the type of guy who always dots his I's and crosses his T's, but I don't know. I think that maybe he's going to sniff this out. The Nexus is super late. He went for a lot of things before the next. He went for range. He went for Citadel. He went for Templar Archives. Then he got the Nexus. Um, he might have gotten the Archives after uh, the Nexus, but it was pretty darn close. Look at that. Archives just about to finish now. He will start a single DT. He only has one gateway, mind you. So is he going to wait for two DTs? Is he just going to go with one? We're going to have to wait and see armory is on the way we had the academy but we don't have the comm sets yet which is a little bit funny right a little bit funny that he hasn't gone for the comm set here um you would think that once the armory is done you would or the academy is done you would just immediately go into the comm set but he's delaying it a little bit there's the comm sets now uh he's gonna wait i think this could be good for Bisu. One DT going to come across the map. Interesting decision here. Just one DT being made. Uh, second DT is now on the way. Going to push back the Dragoons. I think he sees the DT. He does. He sees it. Oh, this is big. He can block with the SCVs. Oh, he's not going to block with the SCVs. Oh, this is not good. I thought he was going to come down and block with the SCVs and then scan and just kill him with the tanks. But he's not going to do that. He's going to wait for all the tanks to be in range. And then he's going to scan. Here it comes. Scan. Oh, he's waiting so long. He's got double scan. He's waiting until it's a guaranteed thing. And he does get it. He does pick it off. Um, another DT is on the way. But he's just going to wait until it arrives. And do another scan and pick it off. I think there was like two SCVs killed. That's not good enough for this DT play. He delayed his Nexus by a lot to get that out. Here comes the next scan. Boom, DT is dead. Dude, Flash. Oh my God, what a guy. 
What a character, man. This freaking guy is insanely good. I know that it's it's kind of a joke how much we talk about Flash and like Flash would have won that type of stuff, but bro, watching him play is it's crazy. It's crazy to see. He's gonna get exactly the right number of scans here to kill every single DT. And he's gonna push across the map without anything but scans. Oh my god, he almost killed that as well. If he killed that DT right now, he could just win. They could just kill the gateway and just win. Uh, put put a bunch of mines here and just kill everything. That is craziness. Just insanity there. <clears throat> that DT survives with like 5 HP, by the way. And the tanks are going to turn around and actually come back to the front? What the heck? What are we doing right now? Kind of interesting. Looks like he's going to get the mine. No, mine's not going to go off. Come here into the main drop the DT right on top of the turret. No, he's just gonna back away That DT would die instantly to the uh, two vultures sitting there um, Okay, gonna drag the mine into a couple vultures not too too bad He's gonna get the scan off gonna continue to push here flash looking for the kill right now uh, This is not This type of situation that we are used to in TVP man Terran just on the aggressive constantly. Um, gonna have to kill his own pylon here. Bisu just so wrecked right now, man. He is in a terrible position. He is behind in supply. He had to kill his own pylon. He doesn't have good uh, tech. There's a wraith out to deny his drop. He doesn't have reaver. He's got just three gateways and there's gonna be four factories here shortly. So Flash just has every advantage. He's got uh, even on workers, pretty much. He's got his upgrades rolling. Uh, just everything looking good for him right now. Looks like a... I don't know what that Dragoon was doing. Why is it that close? That's kind of crazy. Drop, I guess, going to go into the main. Five factory, six factory follow-up here from Flash. The drop going to go down here. Mine kills the DT. You generally want to pick that up <laughs> before the the mine goes off, but a little bit of a mistake there from Bisu. Um, Flash just m just mere minutes away from closing this game, I think. Uh, I'd like to say if there's some sort of mistake, maybe Bisu can bring it back, but man. Flash is just not in the business of making mistakes. Flash is in the business of winning games, man. And that is what he does. <clears throat> that is the uh, that is the Flash brand. Just killing, just absolutely crushing everybody, and making it look easy. With the seven factory or six factory here now. Flash should be able to execute a pretty strong push, but he can definitely hold a third base. Like, maybe he could push across the map and just kill Bisu right now, but 100% he can just take a third base. So he's going to go for the 100% play. He's going to take that third. He's going to sit here. No way that Bisu can attack him right now. Absolutely zero chance. So he's going to take uh, that uh, for granted here. Get his second uh, upgrade plus two on the way and he'll probably add on a couple more factories once the command center finishes up maybe go to like eight fact or something maybe nine and do another push like we saw in that last game with just a infinity number of tanks absolutely undeniably strong number of tanks and look at this 11 minutes 37 the fourth base is going up we could we could see Protoss taking a fourth base at like nine minutes in this matchup in a lot of cases. So you can just tell how far behind Bisu is, the regular curve of this game. This is looking like there's more dragoon or there's more tanks than there are dragoons, I think, in this game. There's what? How many dragoons is this? Seven, eight, nine dragoons. There's nine dragoons in total. Okay, there's two more over here. No, three more here. There's 12 dragoons in total. How many tanks do we have? That's 12. 
So exactly 12 tanks, Flash is going to move out. There's equal number of tanks as there are Dragoons. How many Zealots do we have? This is not like a best number of Zealots. This is not a, a great ape level of uh, Zealot man here. It's just a casual, normal player number of Zealots. And I think it's going to get absolutely splattered by this number of tanks and the Vultures. He's not even really sieging up too much. Mostly just A clicking across the map here with this army. He could throw down a D matrix. He does. Keeping that tank alive there at just 13 HP. He'll unsiege here and continue to rally forward. It looks like a few pesky little zealots gonna make their way to the back line here. Hitting some of those tanks, but most of them have been cleaned and more factories are coming down. He's gonna go up to, yes, that eight factory count. Keep those units rolling out here and start to hit this base I, I i gotta say this is just disgusting the level of terran domination that we're seeing right here in this series it is um it's crazy to see and it just insane to think that we don't have flash in the current day and age that he is not part of the zeitgeist anymore is an absolute travesty. Uh, I would love to see how he would do against Bisu in the modern age, but there it is. Flash in 2020. Absolute annihilation. Not a question that this man is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Would love to see him make a comeback. Guys, shout out to Dude Nerd for sending me these replays. This is a blast from the past right now, even though it's not, you know, a Kesper replay or anything like that. Uh, back from the real old days, just seeing Flash uh, in his former form back before all the controversy is just such a blessing. Love it. Love to see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.